I'm Nathaniel Rateliff. I'm Luke Mossman. And we're at Stubbs in Austin, Texas. And we're just talking about some of our gear. Blood on it from last night. <laughs> <laughs> so this guitar, Dan Strain, who has a company called Dano Casters, built for me. Been pretty beat up since I got it last year. That's a year old? Yes. Well, if we can't take a beating, you probably shouldn't play it, right? Some damage there. I got it. that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this has kind of been my number one since I got it. So yeah, I got this guy this year. It's a 71 gold top. This thing looks so beat up and obviously played a bunch. It's the reason it was played for so long. So I started playing it and Jamie, our sound guy, was pretty insistent that I don't play anything else. Uh, I like Les Pauls, but one of my best friends, Matt Vasquez, years ago told me that fat guys can't play Les Pauls, so I basically haven't. But don't call me fat, I'll <laughs> totally knock you out. So. <laughs> He'll be playing in the middle of some riff and then I'll start to <laughs> intentionally play over top of him. He loves to step all over me. Intentionally, not, yeah. Yeah, not because I'm any better. He's a much better guitar <laughs> player than me. I feel like we just try to <laughs> with each other most of the time. <laughs> Yeah, I got this Telecaster a while ago, and it's a Nash. Um, I've always been a Fender guy. I like the solo in there, and I don't like either a round, a round G or a flat G. I prefer to just have the standard steel. Where all the magic is the G and the B. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorite guitars I tried to smash, and it didn't break, so. I had it hanging on my wall in my attic for years. So eventually it hung there long enough on my wall that I brought it to my luthier friend. And she's like, an awesome, actually, man. And I was like, really? And then that kind of ended up being like my number one guitar for a while. It eventually got lost on a flight. So like, well, what's it worth? And I was like, priceless. Some instruments you can pay a lot of money for, and some have their own character that really do make them worth more than the value.